dang, who's ready for season two? You can go out and party, I'll be at my house. I'm a quarantine queen. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Ellie Fitz, and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, my new single, Quarantine Queen, is now available on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, everything else, you name it, it's there. And we already got so many streams. I am screaming, you guys are powerful, did you know? But I'm so glad you guys love it. Five stars again on the iTunes store. I don't do it, you do. But today is a good day, not because of all that, but also because we're playing Love Island season two. Are you ready? I'm ready to be the baddest B. I'm ready to take everybody's man. Let's see what men there are. So if you're ready, click that like button and let's go. The search for true love is never easy, but for you, that's about to change, truly. We've got a beautiful villa with all the luxury extras, including a massive communal bedroom, and we're filling it with 10 of the hottest and most eligible singles on the planet. And you're one of them, wow. But in this game of love, there's one golden rule to make it to the final and be in with the chance of winning the grand prize. You've got to couple up or clear out. Are you ready to flirt, fight, and find love? It's time for your ultimate summer romance. Choose your appearance. Be right back while I make me, me. Boom, look at me, I look cute. Check me out. Is this the look? Yup, nailed it. I'm looking too cute. Alexa, move out the way because she, she is everything. Pack your bags. You're on your way to Love Island. Your summer in paradise is about to begin. Bring it on. The Jeep engine fades as you pull up to the villa. You blink in the bright sunlight as you step out. You're finally here. The villa, I've never seen anything like it, or it's making me a bit nervous, or it feels like home already. It does. I feel like I've been here before. Can't wait to see who I'll be living with. Another Jeep pulls up to the villa. A pair of expensive heels hits the ground the moment the Jeep stops. Oh wow, hi. That outfit is incredible. Hey girl, what's up Hope? You looking good, queen. Hope, 26 from London, retail ambassador, voted most likely to become CEO. I'm Hope, what's your name, hun? What do you wanna be called? So my last girl's name was Alexa. Obviously, Allie's not playing this game. So how about Lexi? Come through, Lexi. I'm Lexi. It's so nice to meet you. I can't believe we're finally here. How are you feeling? How am I feeling? I'm excited to snog the boys. Or I'm actually a bit nervous. Or I'm totally chill. You know what, Lexi's chill. Playing it cool, huh? I can't even pretend I'm doing that. I was so excited, I almost tripped jumping out of that car. I nearly started my summer of love flat on my face. Can you imagine how that would have looked? Hope nearly went face down getting out of that car. Um, that's because you're drop dead gorgeous. Or I'm hoping to end up flat on my back. T. Or that would have been hilarious. I mean, uh, I'm hoping to end up flat on my back. Hope burst out laughing. Cheeky. Face down and some nice soft pillows would work for me too, to be honest. I can't wait to get a look at all the gorgeous guys we're gonna be hooking up with. Speaking of which, shall we go have a look inside? I wanna check out the bedroom. You just met your first Islander. Each Islander has their own personality and will react differently to you. Pay attention to what the Islanders say about themselves. Okay, got it. I've done this before. Look at this bedroom. It's so fresh, but I can't imagine what it would look like tomorrow. You know we're all gonna get into bed with the guy we just met? We're supposed to sleep in a bed with someone we just met? Um, that's why I'm here. Or I hope I fancy one of them. Or we don't have to share. I mean, I hope I at least like one of them. I bet they're all gonna be gorgeous. I'd be disappointed if I'm not into them. Obviously, I'm looking for something long-term, but it's been a while since I've even been on a date. If there's a handsome, strong, and silent type, I don't know if I wanna wait around. Uh-oh. You're interrupted by the sound of the door clicking open and another voice calling out. Hey, girls. The new girl runs over to you and hugs you both. Wow, look at Lottie. Okay, queen. Lottie, 24 from Melbourne. Makeup artist, lucky number 13. Lottie looks you up and down. You guys are gonna be some strong competition. I love your style. That outfit is incredible. She turns to Hope. Your makeup is amazing. It must take you ages to get ready. Getting my look perfect is really important to me. Lottie bats her eyelashes and winks. How about you? Do I like to spend a lot of time getting ready? I mean, Allie Fitz does. But I feel like my girl Lexi is so naturally pretty. Um, so I'm gonna say, I'll do it for big nights. Yeah, I get that. Sometimes you just wanna wear PJs and chill, right? And it's good to give your skin a break. I wish I was as brave as Lottie with my look, but I try to keep my style classic because of my work. It's not just a look to me. I'm a makeup artist, which means going all out is a great way to show off my skill. It's not exactly the best career to meet boys though. What about you, Lexi? What do you do? I'm a student, musician, charity worker, or social media influencer. Aw, oh, I'm a musician. 
What kind of musician? Pop singer, classical cellist, or drummer in a band? I'm a pop girly. I'm a singer. So you're looking for someone to help you hit the high notes. Lottie is cut short as a head peeks around the door. Hi, I'm so glad I'm not the first one here. Hi, come on over. The new girl approaches gingerly and hugs each of you in turn. I'm Hannah. Aw, Hannah's a cutie. Hi, Hannah. Hannah, 21 from St. Albans. Am I saying that right? Social media assistant, and she's writing her first novel. I guess you guys didn't hear me come in. Did I miss any good chat? We were just talking about getting to know the boys. I don't know about you guys, but it feels like I've been single forever. It's so nice to hear someone else say that. I thought it was just me. What about you, Lexi? You're gorgeous. How come you're single? What brought me to Love Island? I just got out of a long-term relationship. Or things never got serious with anyone. Or the guys I end up always turn out to be tools, period. It's not me, it's them. Oh my gosh, I know what you mean. I was starting to feel like all my relationships were cussed. I've had liars, cheetahs, men who think getting ready just means two squirts of aftershave. Like, where are all the good men out there? Yeah, lots of the guys I meet are just disappointments waiting to happen. And that's before you even make it to the bedroom. Books always make it seem like the right guy's gonna appear if you wait for him. But I guess mine never got the message. Hannah seems like she's waiting for Prince Charming, like a princess or something. Maybe you'll find your prince this summer, or you're not the only one missing Mr. Right. Or don't believe everything in fairy tales. Um, maybe you'll find your prince this summer. Oh gosh, I hope so. We're all here because we're single. We should help each other find the right guy. I feel like we're gonna be this team of awesome women all looking to get each other coupled up. I don't wanna end up fighting with you guys over some man. Lottie wants us all to be on the same team. So far, I like these girls, so I'm down. I'm all about putting the girls first or that will be difficult when the guys get here or I need to look out for number one. T. am all about putting the girls first, let's do it. After I said that, I was gonna steal everybody's man. I'm just, oof. Watch out for Lexi, y'all. I'm so glad you agree. I think we've just gotta build some trust between us before the game begins. You're interrupted again by the click of heels approaching. Hello ladies, I'm Marisol. Hey girl. Marisol, 24 from Portsmouth, law student, a style icon, Amal Clooney. Marisol glides into the room and air kisses everyone on both cheeks. That's such a pretty name. Thank you. I see you've already met. Not at all, come and chat with us. I'm Hope and this is Lexi. We were just saying it's important that the girls support each other. Lexi was just saying that she's a total team player. I respect that we should be friends, but I go after what I want. I won't compete for the sake of it, but if I see someone I like. She trails off realizing the other girls are watching her. Mm, whatever, she came in here acting all. All right, Marisol. Look, I didn't come here to make enemies, but I'm not gonna miss a chance at love because of someone else's feelings. I felt you, I get you girl. That's pretty hardcore, but I kinda like it. I'm such a coward when it comes to dating. I never know how to go for what I want. Babe, you're about to share a bed with a boy in a room full of cameras. If you can do that, you can do anything, period. You've gotta be brave if you're gonna find love. How outgoing am I? I love putting myself out there, or I can be loud when I need to be, or I'm more of the quiet and mysterious type. I can be loud when I need to be, which is all the time. But I like to chill out sometimes too. That's me, I party when I'm out. But I'm just as happy having a chill day at the beach. I'm not about that take it easy lifestyle. I don't know how I'd manage everything if I did. Friends, family, work, dating, studying, reading, hobbies. That's a lot, hon. How do you manage? I drink a lot of coffee. Like, a lot. I could go for one now, actually. Coffee? Babes, we've been here for ages and no one has popped a bottle yet. Tea. I think it's time we find out where the fizz is and start this summer off right. I like, I like hope. Now you're talking. Let's get this party started. Lottie stretched over to the door and then stops in her tracks. What was that noise? Guys, I got a text. Oh my gosh. Here we go, ladies. Girls, it's time to meet the boys. There's five sexy men waiting for you on the lawn. You'll take it in turns to make an entrance and pick a boy. But don't relax once you've coupled up. The boys all stay up for grabs until every girl has chosen. Will the next girl out steal your hunk and put you on the bench? It's happening, you guys. Who do you think will get to go first? I hope it's me. I don't want someone else to pick the best guy first. You feel your phone vibrate. I guess we're about to find out. The girl going first will be Lexi. Yes, exactly what I wanted. All the other girls turn to look at you. Good luck. You walk out of the villa and stop dead. There are five gorgeous men standing in a line on the lawn. Look at these guys. I'll take my time checking them all out first. I'm sure they won't mind waiting. You scan down the line one by one. Let's see. Oh, wow. Hey, Gary. All right. My name's Gary, nice to meet you. Wow, Gary Thick. Okay, we love to see it. Gary, 23 from Chapel. Crane operator, favorite food, his nan's roast for dinner. Gary, looks like he works out. Seems like a nice normal bloke, or he might be a bit basic for me. He looks like he works out, he's thick. You smile at Gary, and he grins back at you. You turn your attention to the next boy. 
Wow, hey Noah. Hi, I'm Noah. Dang, okay. Noah, 25 from Romford. Librarian, shh, he doesn't say anything else. Okay, I guess he's the quiet type. Mouth high, shrug, or see who's next. <laughs> I'm gonna mouth high. <laughs> Noah winks at you. Next in line. Oh, snap. Hi, beautiful. Hey, Rocco, how are you doing? Body snatch, okay. Rocco, 21 from Belfast. Owns a Cocktails and Cronut. Food truck. Hugging a lion cub in his Tinder profile. Interesting. I'm looking forward to making a connection with you. Hello there, handsome. What's cooking good looking? It's nice to meet you or say nothing. What's cooking good looking? Maybe we should find out together. Ooh, looks like I made an impression already. I guess I better keep looking. You turn to the next boy in line. Let's see. Oh, hey, Ibrahim. 22 from Birmingham, golf pro, Mr. June in this year's minute golf calendar. Wow, girl, you're like winning all four major golf tournaments in one year. What? Because you're a grand slam. Wow. Ibrahim, I let him take me for a round of golf. Or I don't love his chat, but his body. Uh, thank you, next. <laughs> I don't love his chat, but that body goal. Maybe he'd be fun for a night or two. Last one. Aw, cutie. Hey, gorgeous. Bobby looks young. Watch him be like 21. Bobby looks young, young. Bobby, 24. Interesting. From Glasgow. Hospital caterer. Brought his own apron with him. Saving the best till last, were you? I'm like the sweet dessert at the end of a main course of beefcake. Bobby, laugh at his joke, smile at him, or don't react. I'm gonna laugh, you know, he's, he's the funny one of the group. You burst out laughing. Are you saying you're sweeter than these other guys? Maybe you should pick me and find out. Huh, your phone beeps. Lexi, now that you've met the boys, it's time to find out what they think of you. Please ask the boys to step forward if they fancy you. Oh, snap. Okay, boys, now I get to ask you the all-important question. If you fancy me, please step forward. You wait for a second, and then the boys begin to move. Gary steps forward first. Okay, Gary. Rocco steps forward. Yes, okay. Ibrahim steps forward. Okay. Bobby steps forward. Everybody, I'm spoiled for choice. I should ask the boys who step forward what they like about me. Who should I talk to? Gary, you first. Gary, why did you step forward? Gary looks thoughtful. You look great. That always helps. My type is definitely someone who puts a bit of effort into their appearance. I'm kind of a simple guy. I, I just figured you looked a bit of a sort, so I just thought I'd try it. Who should I talk to? Uh, Rocco next. Rocco, you step forward. Of course I did. I feel like I, I feel like we could have something really special. Well, he's definitely a smooth talker. All right, Ibrahim, tell me. Ibrahim, why did you step forward? Ibrahim grins at you. I sort of just thought, I gotta take a shot, you know? Who else should I talk to? Last but not least, Bobby. Bobby, why did you step forward? You seem like the kind of girl that doesn't go over the top of their look. I rate that. I don't want the competition when we stand next to each other, you know? Bobby grins at you. Joking, of course. Anyway, you know if you pick me, you'll be laughing all the way to the bedroom and in it. Oh, well, I've seen all the boys, so I guess it's my time to make a choice. I know I've only just met you all, but I do have to choose, so. The boy I want to couple up with is Rocco, Gary, Noah, Bobby, or Ibrahim. Um, the guy who really caught my eye at first is definitely Rocco, so get over here, boy. Rocco smiles at you and makes a heart shape with his fingers. I'm really feeling your vibe. The other boys all applaud, and you go and stand next to Rocco. Well done, mate, you've taken an early lead. It's all still to play for, though. Rocco grins at you. Hi, by the way. Hi. This isn't how I usually meet people, but I gotta say, I'm loving it so far. Before you can say anything else, the door to the villa bursts open and Lottie strides out. Hi, boys. Hope you're all ready for a good time. Lottie scans the boys quickly and then raises an eyebrow. I wonder if any of you guys can handle me. I'll go straight in and ask any of you that fancy me to step forward. You feel Rocco's arm shift slightly as though he wanted to step forward, but then he stops. Did he just try to step forward? Say something, nudge him, or leave it. I'ma leave it. This is the first day. Maybe it was nothing. Bobby hesitates, then he steps forward. Lottie rolls her eyes, then gently pokes her tongue out at the boys. Well, one is better than none, I suppose. Being brutally honest, I was kinda hoping to see this guy here step forward. She points at Rocco. Don't point at my man, but I'm glad he didn't. Lexi and I both agreed to put the girls first, and I'm gonna respect that. So the guy I wanna couple up with is, oh, she was serious about this. <laughs> she was serious about the girls thing. She pauses and turns to Bobby. I'm so sorry, hon. I don't even know your name yet. It's Bobby. She smiles. Okay, Bobby, you with me. She strides over to Bobby and kisses him on the cheek. What do you reckon? Lottie and Bobby, 
They seem like a perfect match. If this was Lust Island, oh, or they won't make it one night. I mean, look at them. They won't make it. You catch yourself staring at Lottie and then she notices your expression. Two down, three to go. Quick mass. <laughs> the door opens again and Marisol walks out to face the boys. I think she's gonna be my problem. I don't know why, but I see it. What a view. Let me get a good look at you all. She shields her eyes from the sun. How are you gonna choose, babe? I think you can learn a lot about someone's character by looking at how they present themselves. Everyone waits as Marisol walks up and down the line and inspects the boys one by one. She stops by Ibrahim. Look at how this guy is standing. What could he be hiding? Then she stops by Gary. Hmm. I'd like to get to know you better too. Okay, boys, I've had a look at you. Which of you like the look of me? Ibrahim immediately steps forward. Bold and confident, I love it. What's your name, gorgeous? Ibrahim. Well then, the boy I want to couple up with is Ibrahim. You're a girl that knows what she wants. I like that. Okay, they're cute. Rocco glances at you. Ibrahim seemed like a good lad when we were chatting earlier. And you've met Marisol already, right? You think they'll work out? I do. Marisol chose Ibrahim. They look hot together. It doesn't take much to see that they're a good couple. So we're down to two then. Yeah. I'm sure the right person is about to come out, Noah. Don't worry about it. I know it takes me a bit longer to make an impression. Hope strides confidently out of the villa and looks around. You all look so cute in your couples. Now, I'm not saying this to be mean, but I'm here to meet the right person. I may not be the first to the party, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna be stuck with the leftovers. Oh, she walks right over to Noah. What's your name, babes? It's Noah. Noah, you are just the hottest thing I've ever laid eyes on. I'm like melting under your gaze. Looks like Hope's found her guy. Woo, good for her, go ahead. I hope it goes well for them. My mind's made up. The boy I want to couple up with is Noah. Hope walks over to Noah and kisses him on the cheek. Hannah is next to walk out of the door. I forgot about Hannah, little old sweet Hannah. Oh, M? G, I'm literally speechless. Look at these guys. It's like the first time I went to the stables to pick out a pony. Babes, you need to choose yourself a stallion. Okay, so this makes me a little bit giddy, but I'm just gonna ask any of the boys that fancy me to step forward. There's silence for a moment. Nobody steps forward. <laughs> Come on, boys, don't be shy. She's gorgeous, look at her. Bobby starts to step forward and Lottie's arm goes out to stop him. <laughs> Period, I didn't mean you. You just said. Slowly Gary grins and steps forward. You're fit, I just didn't know if I'd be your type. Sweetheart, right now you're like my knight in shining armor. I'm Gary. Right, then I choose to couple up with Gary. She skips over to him, throws her arms around his waist and whispers in his ear. Gary looks unsure. Hannah and Gary, he's definitely her prince. No, maybe it'll be better than it looks. No, nope. or she didn't have much choice. She didn't. Poor Hannah. No, actually poor Gary, poor both of them. Cause Gary's cute. Well, Hannah is too, but uh, you know what? So, are we all good? Is that it? Um, I think so. She looks around nervously. Isn't there usually like another person? What do you mean? There's five girls and five boys. We're evenly matched. I wouldn't worry about it, mate. You're calling me mate? Sorry, mate. <laughs> anyway, I don't reckon there's gonna be anyone else for now. We're all here, we're in couples, but we still haven't really met each other yet. Exactly. She looks at him in the eye. A mischievous grin on her face. Uh-oh. Let's crack on. The Islanders all start to chat and get to know each other. You look at Rocco. This is my chance to get to know Rocco better. Why don't I take him aside for a while? Okay. Some choices cost gems. We've been new. Whatever. Should I take Rocco to the side? Yeah, I'm gonna use my gems. Rocco notices you staring at him. Is everything all right? Come with me, let's get to know each other better. You don't beat around the bush, do you? The two of you make your way around the pool and sit down on the sun loungers. His eyes light up as he watches you sit down. If I'm honest, it's such a weird trip coming in here meeting all these girls. It's like I've been here five minutes and I'm already sitting next to the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Wow, that sounds like a line. Do you mean that or you've seen a lot of fit girls then or you don't need to try so hard. Do you mean that? Of course I do. The competition is pretty fierce out here for both of us. My head is spinning. It's all so much to take in. How are you finding it? A lot all at once, or I'm settling in okay, or I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's wild, isn't it? I've never even thought I'd make it in. And now there's so much happening all at once. He looks around and the sound of the other Islanders chatting drifts across the lawn. So you picked me. You notice that, huh? I guess we should get to know each other a little bit. Ask me anything, I'm an open book. Okay, what should I ask him? What are you looking for?
for on Love Island? Or are you happy I picked you? Or what's your favorite farmyard animal? Um, what are you looking for? Love, of course. I definitely think two people could meet somewhere like here and be a perfect match. And I think I might've made a pretty good start with that already. This is fun, ask me another. I wanna know, what's your type? Or the one thing you change about your life or the weirdest place you've had sex? Oh wow, I wanna know that. We ain't PG-13 today. In the back of a rival's food van. Wait, what? I was doing a big European tour following all the major festivals in my van one summer. The money was great, the music was amazing, and the odd fling here and there didn't hurt either. But I kept bumming into this one woman who was selling pretty much the same stuff as me, except she gave everyone an extra pickle. Well, I had to offer two pickles to keep custom up. So then she started offering three pickles. It got to the point where we were basically giving away a jar of pickles to every customer. One day, I banged on the back of her van and tried to put an end to it. But we spent weeks watching each other cook over a hot grill all day. And when she opened the door, she gave me this look. We used the hot dog buns as a cushion. This is fun, I like being interviewed. Ask me one more. I wanna know, what's your type? Oh, that's an easy one. My mates would say, I tend to go for girls that are a little out there. Who wouldn't mind being the center of attention? I also love a girl that puts effort into her look. Someone that's a bit more refined, you know? Who really likes to front? I enjoy a girl that doesn't mind me being a bit flirty with others. What? Or one that keeps me on my toes. I feel like I need that excitement to keep things going, you know? It kind of shows that she's looking out for herself, being honest about what she wants. Hope that gives you some idea about what I'm looking for here, I guess. There's a brief moment of silence as the two of you look at each other. I'm really looking forward to getting to know you. He kisses you lightly on the cheek. Ooh, you hear a group of other Islanders laughing somewhere behind you. I guess we should go and get to know the others a little better too. Yeah, you're right. Chat more later though? Oh yeah, for sure. Now I'm alone. I gotta pick one of the other boys to chat to. But who am I gonna go for first? Um, look at that. Our new Islanders are all coupled up. But will it last? Lexi has ended up with Rocco, but is he the right person for her? We will never know. Who's gonna be cracking on and who's gonna fall out? And who's gonna be the first to reveal an embarrassing secret? Find out on the next episode of Love Island. The game has only just begun. Okay, so boom. I already got my man. He's cute, but I'm not gonna lie. I also have my eyes on Gary too, cause Gary kinda cute as well, but. Who do you guys like the most in the house so far? Let me know in the comments. I wanna know which boy I should like turn my eyes to, or did I make the right choice with Rocco? He's cute. But my dog's name is Roscoe. His name is Rocco, and so it's kinda like weird, but. If you enjoyed this video and want more Love Island, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let them know about this tea. And don't forget to buy, stream, and download my new song, Quarantine Queen, if you are in quarantine, which we all are, so y'all better be streaming. Please, so have a great day in the name of the Lord and may God bless you every step.